Uh, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us for the Mount Juliet Chambers Coffee with a Candidate. Uh, with us today is our special guest, Michelle Newton, and she is running for District 1 as a candidate for the Wilson County Commission. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. Nice to see you today. I'm glad you're joining us. Thank you very much. And uh, start off first, maybe with, um, if, I, if I'm correct, I've got a map of the rezoned district after the uh, census and pretty much uh, west of Lakeshore Drive, north of Lebanon Road, all the way to the lake and the Davidson County line, and then a little bit down Devonshire, um, from Devonshire in Hickory Hills, maybe to the county line. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Pretty much if you uh, live in Old Hickory, in Old part Hickory. of Wilson County, that's this district. All right, very good. That's an easy way to remember it. But uh, um, running for um, District 1 for the Wilson County Commission, a seasoned politician or first chance, or first go round? Uh, first go around. <laughs> first go around. We'll talk a little bit about that. But um, thank you very much and thank you for, for joining us and thanks for willing, being willing to, to serve the citizens of Wilson County. Would you take just a minute and tell us a little bit about yourself and maybe what you'd like the voters to know about your campaign, Michelle? Sure. Um, so um, I was born and raised in Tennessee. I grew up in Union City, which is a town in uh, Northwest Tennessee. Um, you know, grew up there, uh, went to college at the University of Tennessee at Martin. Um, and then after I graduated college, I moved to East Tennessee. Uh, lived in Knoxville for a little while, um, moved around some with my husband, who I met in Knoxville. We lived in uh, Virginia, North Carolina. That's where our children were born. We have two sons. Um, and we eventually made our way back to Tennessee. Um, we lived in Sevierville in East Tennessee. Probably everybody's familiar with that area. And um, then in January 2019, we relocated to this area. Um, my husband's uh, work brought us here, and um, I'd always kind of said I wouldn't mind to live in the Nashville area, so it just kind of worked out, and um, when we were kind of deciding where we would, you know, make our home in this area, um, we reached out to some people that we knew, and I just did some research, and it seemed like Wilson County was a place to be, um, primarily because of the schools. Um, we wanted you know, excellent schools for our children. And um, after doing some research, um, we just felt like that was, you know, where we wanted to be here um, because our kids are obviously very important to us. So um, we decided to make our home in uh, Wilson County. And um, we picked this particular area because um, we, we like some of the schools over here. And I had a couple of acquaintances um, that lived in this area. So yeah, we, um, we bought our house here. We live in the Lankford Farms neighborhood. Um, and I have a son that goes to Lakeview Elementary. He'll be in fifth grade. And then I have a son who will be in eighth grade at Mount Juliet Middle School. So um, we, we love it here. Um, you know, we've had a great, you know, three and a half years living here. Met so many wonderful people. You know, we, we just really like it here. So um, I'm happy to you know, have an opportunity to try and, you know, just make this county even better than it already is. <laughs> Very good. It's, um, um, it is a popular place. Um, and it is, it, it, our little secrets out because clearly it is the place to be. And a lot of people are, are moving here for a lot of things, jobs, um, retirement, um, the education, and that's a key part of the county commission because it's uh, um, I'm going to I'm, I'm sure it's in excess of 50 percent of the entire budget of the county is for for public education so those uh, go hand in hand um, specifically from a legislator's perspective on the county commission not everything is broken or people wouldn't be moving here like they are so there's some things that are going pretty good what are the things that impress you the most that you um, absolutely want to make sure we, we keep doing um, because uh, you think it's going right? I mean, I thought, I, like you said, I think, a, I think a lot of things are actually going really great in this county. Um, you know, 
uh, bringing new businesses to the area um, and, um, you know, especially out in the 840 area, getting some of those, you know, those bigger companies coming into the area, like the company that's going to make the um, parts for the electric batteries and just different things like that. I mean, we're, we're constantly, you know, like bringing business into the area, which is great for, you know, revenue purposes and just, you know, just continuing to grow. Um, you know, I'm very proud of our schools and our school system. I'm always proud to tell other people where my kids go to school. So I think we're, you know, doing a great job there. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really have a lot of complaints, really. I, you know, like I said, I think that um, things go really well here. The, um, there are challenges. Um, right. There's things that we can always do better. And if you were going to be adjusting the dials a little bit and um, maybe a little more emphasis on this or a little bit more watching over that or maybe something new, something old that needs to go away, what are, uh, what are, do you think the first several months, what, what will your focus be on the, on the county commission if you were to win? I mean, my primary focus will be on education. Um, you know, while I think, you know, so many things go right in this school district, absolutely. You know, I, I know that one of the most pressing issues is, you know, keeping our teachers and administrators and, and here in Wilson County. Um, I know recently that a, you know, well-respected principal in the district, you know, announced that he's, you know, going to move on and, and, you know, we see that a lot just with the teachers, you know, going to Davidson or, or Wilson, Williamson, you know, wherever they might go. And, and I know people have many reasons for, for doing things, but, you know, I've heard that one of those reasons is pay that sometimes causes people to go uh, to other counties and work. And we just have to make sure our, uh, we're paying our teachers and administrators competitive salaries. I know that the school board um, just, you know, are, they're implementing a new, you know, pay scale system. And, you know, you hear a lot positive and negative feedback on that. Um, so I, I do think that the school board is, you know, uh, and the director of schools are addressing this. Absolutely. But, you know, as a county commissioner, you know, I do want to, you know, really get involved and see like, just the allocation of money and just, you know, make sure that we are, you know, giving our school district the funds that they need. Um, so I just really want to learn more about that. Um, and, you know, because I'm, I'm a huge advocate for the schools. And then, um, you know, another important issue um, is just ensuring that WEMA has adequate funding. You know, I guess, you know, even myself, like we, you know, we forget how important some of these services are to our county that we just think will always be there when we need them. You know, we just think, okay, if we have an emergency, we can call and request that. Well, if there's a staffing issue, you know, in a time of need, we just need to make sure all the citizens have access to, you know, ambulance services, fire, you know, I would, you know, also support, you know, the sheriff's department, just all of those things that are like the foundation of our community. That maybe sometimes, like I said, we, we just take for granted as always being there, always, you know, just being there at the ready for us. I just, I really wanna support that. Um, there's just, there's so many families, you know, of, of school age and younger children, just in all of this county, especially in my district, you know, it's a very um, small district, you know, physically, like the distance, but it's very populated, tons of families. And, um, you know, just being a young family myself, you know, I just really support that and all the services that make this county great. I think that's, uh, you know, something that you, somebody would have a hard time disagreeing with that. And we don't think about WEMA or the sheriff or the fire department or the police until you call 911 and then nobody were to show up. And, uh, we certainly have some staffing issues, not unique to Wilson County, but uh, there are a lot of counties that are grappling with those same things. And uh, I appreciate wanting to make sure that we don't get out hustled and that we can find a way to, to keep our, our, our best folks here. You know, um, there'll be new schools that are gonna need to be built. Um, you can't, uh, 
pass all of those expenses along to the people that are here. There's um, a lot of new folks and new businesses moving into the area. And we're almost to the point now where you can kind of pick the kind of businesses that you want in your community. It hasn't always been that way, but a lot of new office buildings, um, probably not as many big boxes, distribution warehouses uh, on the horizon. What kind of businesses do you think as a county commissioner that we should be actively trying to recruit versus just being here if they want us? Um, let's see. I mean, I think that, um, you know, definitely anything that has to do with technology yep. and continuing to improve that. I mean, something I would like to see is more like fiber optic capabilities, just like really bringing our technology, you know, where it needs to be. And I think those companies are, would be great for Wilson County, you know, just because that's how we're always moving is to be more efficient with technology. So any companies that, you know, um, are in that field. Um, I mean, I know too, like, you know, um, we want to see, I know there's a lot of residents, including myself, that want to see like a Costco or a Sam's or a BJ's. And I do believe that's in the works. So, you know, I think, um, especially on my, you know, more on my side of the county, you know, we're, we're people would like something like that. Um, so, um, and then I would just say too, like, just companies too, that, you know, um, kind of hold some of the same values that we hold in Wilson County. You know, I they, think that, they're, I think that's fair to say. And companies right now, good or bad, left, right, middle, doesn't make any difference. They are being forced now, maybe even against their own, against their will. They're having to, to take a stand and a lot of companies are going to be relocating where the community's beliefs are more closely aligned. Exactly. With corporate exactly. Needs. And we didn't talk about that even just a few short years ago that businesses went where there were employees. And before that, employees went where there were businesses. So uh, it is a changing environment. And if that wasn't enough, uh, you know, COVID letting people work from home, just, I mean, that, uh, that blew the glass ceiling and uh, yeah, it really changed the way yeah. that a lot of companies do business. Exactly. Yeah. It sure did it, their footprint, what kind of businesses and the County, while they don't uh, um, own a lot of uh, industrial area or manufacturing or mixed use, they do have some say so and a lot of say so in the urban growth boundary of what's coming around us. So, you know, high paying jobs is uh, is part of the answer. But uh, um, let me see here. Um, tell me what you think um, might be a couple of the biggest challenges that the future county commission this after this election, say in the next four years, what, what's out there that you feel like will be the most difficult for the county commission to grapple with? Well, I mean, the big thing is addressing the population growth and how that affects all aspects of our community. Some of the things we already discussed, you know, education, we need more schools with these families in, these kids need to go to school. And we know that we have some schools that are over capacity already. So we need to, and we need to think a little bit more in advance about, you know, this continuing just in all facets continuing to grow. Okay, so how does that affect education, all of our emergency services? How does that affect our infrastructure? Are we ready to handle, you know, increased traffic, just all of these people moving in? There's there's so many moving parts to that. Um, so I really think that just managing the growth and looking forward even to how we will continue to grow, you know, in the future, that is really got to be at the, at the forefront. And you know, how do we pay for all this? So, um, you know, that is, um, you know, that's important to me. Um, and I think that, you know, that'll be something that we all have to work with, you know, work together to figure out how we're going to do that in the best way for everyone. I think the, the growth is pretty much unprecedented. And it um, now, perhaps more than, I don't know, let's say at least the last 25 years, for a while, um, Lebanon, you know, had a spur. Then Mount Juliet had a spur. Um, now it appears that 
no one in the entire county right now is um, absent from the growth. It's happening from Watertown to Lakeview to Old Hickory, where you're at, out off of 231 North in Lebanon. And then, of course, Highway 109, um, you know, that's just, uh, um, that changes by the day. So it's yeah, something exactly. that the entire county commission is going to be faced with uh, some some real challenges. Um, thank you for your willingness to put your name in the hat and, and serve. <laughs> As we uh, wrap up, would you uh, take a second and tell the voters why you feel like you're the, the best candidate for this position, please? Sure. Um, I mean, I would just like to say that, you know, obviously this would be my first time, you know, doing anything like this. Um, and, you know, there is something to say for people that have experience in the position. But I also think that it's very important, um, you know, new people have new ideas. And, you know, the county commission needs, you know, dynamic, energetic leaders. Because as we just discussed, I mean, there's a lot of things going on in this county and we need to be, you know, flexible, have a lot of ideas, um, you know, I'd like to, you know, see more representation of our true demographics of the county. You know, there's there's a lot of families. There's just there's so many different people living here that have moved from all over. Um, you know, I have, you know, I'm energetic. I work well with other people. You know, and I have a heart to serve. Um, I think, you know, any of my friends, family my employer would tell you I'm dependable. You know, I can be counted on in a pinch, especially, you know, um, I, you know, can organize lots of things last second, get a lot of people together. You know, I'm, I'm always there for people, you know, people that I know, and then even people, you know, that I don't know. Um, I really, you know, as a representative for district one, you know, I would hope to, really get to know a lot of my constituents, let them know I'm here for them. You know, if they have a question, you know, or a need, come to me. Probably a lot of the time I can't solve it personally, but, you know, I will find the answer. I will find someone to help them, um, no matter how big or small the need is. You know, I just want to be there for people and make connections and just really, you know, like I said, this county is amazing. And um, I'm, I'm really proud to live here. And I just would like to, you know, a chance to serve and really get involved and, you know, just continue the great things that um, Wilson County is doing. Um, so I, you know, for those district one uh, potential constituents listening, you know, I would really appreciate your vote in the upcoming election. Early voting is July 15th to 30th. Um, for people in my district, you probably go to Charlie Daniels. That's where the voting location would be. And then the general election is August 4th. Um, so, you know, if you wait to come out on election day, there's multiple locations where you can vote. Um, I have, if anybody has any further questions, I have a website. Um, it's www.michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, the number four, Wilco number one. So it's Michelle number four, Wilco number one.com. And that's also how you can find me on Facebook. I have a campaign page and also email. I'm using the same uh, tag, if you will, Michelle for Wilco one. Um, and I have a lot of signs out. They're orange because I'm a Vols fan. So some people might not like that, but I am. So I decided to go with orange and white signs. So, uh, um, you know, I'm happy to answer any questions that anybody has. Just, you know, reach out, get in touch. Well, thank you very much. Having uh, the first opportunity I've ever had a chance to, to meet with you, I very much appreciate you spending a few minutes with us. Um, I want to, if I haven't already, I want to encourage everybody to go out and exercise your, your right to vote and, and to be a part of the process. Michelle, thank you. Best of luck to you and your campaign. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for You're your time. Bye.